Oh, clearly. You know, if you don't have to camp in a bush, that's all you need to be a top professional player. I mean, they're learning from the best. Exactly. They're learning from the best. And realistically, it works. Let's be real. Like, a lot of the guys, like, say, I was going to combine them all again. I just have this habit of combining entire trios. Saf, Stretch, and Kanada, who very well known when they're playing with Zate instead, who would, you know, double boxed up and have one player sit in the bush to get the beams off for damage and for Storm Surge at the same time. Very, very well known. And Angie's team, who has had no need to sit in a box so far because they're fully up on high ground. But hold on, down on low ground, 4ZR starting to get tagged out. And at this moment, the pressure may come in from the entire lobby too. And they need to not be picked up at this point. They need to not get that pressure. Yes, and the spray starts to come out as 4ZR starts to find his way through the bells. He picks up Zest at the same time. A big, big elimination, which is crucial for them because if they had gone picked up, that would have been the end of their run for them. The pressure was mounting and we talked earlier about pressure making diamonds. These guys clearly are exactly that because with the shots amounting and Alex hit a huge shot and then 4ZR himself went on to hit a massive shot there and now it's just almost like the second place is theirs to lose, right? You know, they haven't mm -hmm. got it yet, but they are just so well prepared to be there and take it and they do have you know, this team on their backs. They'll have Benji Fishy's team on their backs as well, tailing them closely, but it is looking so much like it belongs to them. Toos now has got to be careful. Doesn't want to make any silly mistakes at this stage. There is still so much to play for, so much on the line. And once again, a brilliant job. Look at these top teams. They are just so effective at finding these openings. Toos. Kiri actually and Stormy, right? All themselves picking up a knock or an elimination. And they understand something. They understand that right now the Storm Surge was ticking, which means that those players down there are getting desperate, which means they're not going to be holding their builds. They're going to be doing anything they can, and they can capitalize on that, get either tags for their own or eliminations all the way through as well. So really good job from them, just capitalizing, staying calm on cool under pressure. Same thing with Benji Fish's team. They pulled a max distance fifth zone. They decided to use one of their launch pads that they had there now they're actually situated down on low ground and one of the things in the inventory that you'll notice is the hot flopper which is something that not many teams actually utilize but it's something that benji team utilizes a lot as they're actually going for a final elimination on a player where it says neck and who's also being picked up now so a super easy refresh just spotting one of these scuffed solo players sitting in a brick box all by himself and a really good job picking that up and now they've got that additional extra loot at the same time but they're such a good spot and that pushes them up into the 600 range. As you can see on your screens, 4ZR, x Weezing and Elect have eclipsed 642 points. They have that second place spot all to themselves. And so at this stage now, even with Andelex going down, they are way, way ahead of that second place number. But they do want to create an even bigger gap because like I said, with Benji's team on their tail now, hitting 600 points, these guys won't want to lay it up easily. And Lex is completely taken out, but 4ZR and x will live to tell the story. 666 points and more counting as they look to try and make their way through this first moving zone. Benji Fiji at 604. And they're looking up for a height. I'm sure Shadow and Joe will be looking attentively to see if there's an opportunity to take it. But with that being said, they will just look to go for a mid-ground layup. Benji leading the way. He's got to be careful he doesn't fall into somebody else's box. And it looks for a second like he did do that, in fact. Able to get out of that trouble, though. But he needs to regroup with his teammates. He needs Joe and Shadow by his side. If they want any hope, of eclipsing the tally that the Frenchmen have set. They do indeed, and Frenchmen are still up in the game as long as so is Benji Fish still alive as a full trio. Now they're putting the pressure on to Putrick and pick up Putrick as well. So that's a big elimination, but another player comes into the box. He tags Benji back at the same time, but I think that's Chico is picked up in the end game as they're going to pick up those heals. So that's two really crucial eliminations for the board as we hopefully still see that the remaining teams are still in that their contention. I didn't actually manage to see 4ZR still in it, but two Stormy Ray and Kiriashi are. Yeah, these guys now 
They've got an even bigger task, right? If anything, these guys are fighting more so for third place. If they can, they need to get above that 600 point mark and really start trying to catch up to Benji, which will be a hard task since Benji is still up and healthy. Toos now being forced down a layer back into the arms of his teammates for protection. And you can see there on high ground, it was Vizu T. We saw what they did on high ground last time, Rotary. Now he's got to be careful with Toos lining him up in his sight lines and Rotary actually will go down at the hands of Toos. And so all of a sudden, these guys realize that height is on the cars. Maybe this is something that they can take advantage of, but they've got a deal with Joe Shadow. Benji Fishy looking to maybe make his way up as well. As Sweeze is all alone down below. The medkit play looking to be his first option. He needs to be careful though, because at 670 points, his second place spot is not guaranteed. So he needs to just hold on for as long as he can. You know, and you said that right, that second spot is not guaranteed, but he's got so many materials now to be left live as a solo. He can definitely crutch this back up to a top 10 if he gets himself into a good position, plays that med kit as slowly and as possibly as he can. But you can see the players on his lair are starting to get closer. And if they see these weak brick builds around him, they may start to go. He should take a single tick to storm here. Yes, so he's going to take the stick, tick of storm so he can play yet again another med kit from the back of the zone. This goes into the ninth zone with 27 players still remaining in the final moving. This is where we're going to see the numbers drop drastically in your bottom right, you still have X squeeze now playing the zone at the back and he seems to potentially miscalculate it, but he comes up behind the players. He whiffs the shot and doesn't actually manage to get anything out of it. And he's down to 10 HP. He's fully boxed up. The pressure starts to come in for the season. Oh, but no, X squeeze out on 672 points. And that's going to be the point to try and beat for the remaining trios below him. 672 is what they will try and reach. Stormy right all alone has a mountain to climb if he wants to get anywhere near that tally. He does hit a pump shot there, but it wasn't enough for an elimination. And he's got to be careful. None of these builds are his. He walks oh. into a tree. He actually is able to get one. Monkey goes down. He gets the siphon from it as well. And he's going to be looking for more now. And the opportunity is definitely there, but he will go down at the hands of Mosh. And you can see up above, Joe Shadow and Benji are having an easier time time joe's left all alone he picks up an elimination though to be fair he is on 646 and he is now trying to survive when it looks like all the odds are against him he doesn't have much hp but he does have a mini and that mini will take him up to 25 shield which could be enough in a fight no he will go down as well and so he wasn't able to get his team up to second place nonetheless all these trios now fighting for some sort of fame some sort of admiration as they all look to be the winner of this final game of the cash cup extra and Haran drops down onto low ground. He goes down into the zone as well. There's only a few players left remaining, but the heal off play comes out of Jarvik's team alongside Turkey at the back of the zone. So that victory royale in the final game, the final match will go to Tekil, go to Jarvik's, and will go to Turkey 7 as well. The 7, a little nod to our boys, Tastens, who actually managed to win it.